Andrew said something bad, and I was like, oh, tell him about what Luke has been saying to me and stuff. And he was like, oh, yeah, he told me he's top three, but Andrew won't tell me. And I was like, am I in it? And he was like, no. Chat and shit. He's chat and shit because he doesn't so want you to be in the top three. Like I feel like some of these boys are very... A little bit of a game players, you know? Welcome back to Romance Review TV with Lady T. And we are doing another recap of Love Island UK. This is season eight, episode number three. And we are a few episodes in already. And we have been treated to our first little bit of drama so before we jump into this video if you are new here hit that subscribe button turn on your notifications if you like the video smash that like button and also feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section below so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this recap so as we saw with episode number three there's this whole conversation that has been had by Andrew kind of snaking him about chances, meaning Luca, shaking Luca with chances with Tasha. The conversation that they had in bed was where he told um, Tasha that um, he that she was not in Luca's top three. And yeah, uh, Luca had no idea what he was talking about because it was never said. And Andrew knew exactly what he was trying to do to undermine uh, Luca by telling Tasha this. So much so, Tasha was like, she couldn't believe what he was saying. And either was the girls that she was telling that information to. I mean, India was like, oh no, he's trying to make sure he get ahead in the game that kind of aces out what luca had because she has interest in both these guys and the information got back to Paige, where he had she had a conversation with luca as well and at this point it was time for these folks to have a conversation together and i know that luca had the conversation first with andrew but i just had to point out the conversation with tasha and andrew first and she should have checked him there is no reason that he was trying he should have tried to undermine what she had going on which makes him look like he's insecure you had to lie about this whole thing in order to get an edge up against luca luca did have a conversation with andrew and he was like i would never try to snake a dude over a girl you know and he was like hey we all in here trying to get our opportunities to meet and talk with everybody but for him to come in there you know andrew it was like he snaked him and then he gets in his confessional and then turns around and was like, you know, I'll never do this to anybody. I, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was thinking. You knew exactly, Mr. Andrew, what you were doing, which is why now Tasha decides to kind of pull back. So that's what you get. You, hey, you tried to be snaky. She turned around and she caught you. Sorry. So across the villa, we have a little heat going on in the kitchen with these two. Check it out. <laughs> Go for it. Tell me. I can't tell you, but I can show you. <laughs> Come on, then. Yeah? Come on, then. So finally things heat up for Demi and Amber. I am happy to see it because they were a slow burn. They were playing a little bit of cat and mouse the first two episodes as if they was trying to act timid and this whole thing that she wanted to be grafted and he was moving too slow. 
Well, finally, he finally got the nerve to actually break the ice with Amber. So I'm here for it and I'm glad to see it. And then we can't forget about India and Ikenna. And this is moving so slow. She actually didn't know whether he was interested or not. He seems interested, but he also said, I don't want to stop you from seeing other people. And just that little bit of conversation actually got her to stick it in with him and try to see where this could go. I really don't see the connection there. And not because they're not a good looking couple or anything, but just the fact that the communication is just stagnant with these two. And I don't know. It, you shouldn't have to be pulling teeth to try to get a connection. So I don't see it with this couple. But who knows? Anything could uh, be subject to change. So we'll have to see. And then we have Gemma, Gemma, Gemma. And Liam still trying to shoot his shot even though she recoupled up with David Day. And I don't know. In this whole conversation, it seemed like she was being lukewarm. She looked like she's giving him false hope kind of like she's playing them. David Day is not worried in one bit. And he left that whole conversation with Gemma thinking he still have a shot. I mean, he was excited and over the moon. And I'm like, dude, don't waste your time. I mean, even in his confessional, he was like, hey, as long as I still have a shot, I'm good. Speaking of Gemma and David Day, they had this little bit of I guess their first date where they had to do Love Island Lemonade and, you know, they had basic conversation. She really wanted to dig deep and, you know, find out what he was about, get to know him, kind of want to get the substance of David Day, but I don't know. He seemed like he was pretty surfaced. Um, they started talking about marriage, you know, and she was like, well, I don't know if I want to get married right now, but I want to know, you know, what you are thinking in regards to kids he said two, she said four, and I don't know. We'll have to see where this goes. I know there's an age difference. She's 19, he's 27, so I don't know. We'll have to see, but it was an okay date, to say the least. So now two new girls arrive in the villa, Afia and Ekansu, and guess who got the date? Liam, Liam, Liam. And it was interesting to see Gemma's face. I think she liked to be in control and having the guys kind of focus on her. But now he has not one, but two dates that he has to, um, you know, go through the process with. So we'll see if he pick up an attraction and he's single right now. So he has options if he wanted to choose a girl to couple up with or will the girls not choose him and go after one of the other ladies guys so we'll have to stay tuned and wait for episode number four so i hope you enjoyed this recap and review of love island uk season eight episode three like comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next video bye Thank you.